She really is a wonder woman. Did you see how soft that was? That was so soft, the landing was perfect. A good leap onto the cargo net. Superheroes aren't real, but these remarkable individuals living among us might just make you reconsider that statement. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 living people who may be superheroes. For this list, we're looking at currently living individuals who've demonstrated unbelievable skills and abilities, and or have achieved accomplishments beyond those of most normal people. These above average individuals may not have x-ray vision or the ability to fly, but we wouldn't be surprised to discover that they're secretly superheroes. Number 10, Daniel Browning Smith, Super Flexibility. Meet Daniel Browning Smith. He was born with an incredible power. He's the world's most flexible man. When you're picked to star in Stan Lee's Superhumans, a TV series presented by comic book legend Stan Lee, then you're probably more than superhuman. You're basically a superhero team leader on a recruiting mission. Three, two, one, just time. Nicknamed Rubber Boy, this classically trained contortionist is about as double jointed as they come. He can rotate his head a full 180 degrees and dislocate both arms and legs. He has seven Guinness World Records to his credit, has been seen in such films as Men in Black 2, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and You Don't Mess with the Zohan, as well as numerous television series like HBO's Carnival. There are few small spaces this guy can't fit into. We're a breed of people that have taken something to the next level to make it spectacular. It's not fiction, this is truth. Number nine, Half Thor Julius Bjornsson, super size and strength. <laughs> Thus far, three actors have played the mountain on HBO's Game of Thrones, but none has done the name justice quite like Bjornsson. As one of the world's most prolific strongmen, Bjornsson, nicknamed Thor, took home the title of Europe's Strongest Man in 2014 and 2015, which was just one among a number of other strength competitions he's won since he made his debut in 2010. As if that weren't enough to earn him superhuman status, he also used to play basketball professionally in Iceland. Starting center, Sir Gregor Clegane. Ah! Did I smash your head in like this? Number 8. Eve Rossi, Human Flight Technology This engineer and military trained pilot might not be flying with the same level of control or agility as the MCU's Sam Wilson, also known as the Falcon. But his personal flight suit feels like something ripped straight from the comics. Though it's more physically reminiscent of the Great Machine from the critically acclaimed Ex Machina comic series, this winged jetpack feels like it comes from some real-life Tony Stark or Bruce Wayne type of tech-based superhero innovation. As an experienced pilot, Rossi wanted to explore more freeform flying and began experimenting with small-scale gliders in 1993. This evolved into his current almost 8-foot wingspan carbon fiber jet engine powered suit, with which the Jetman, as he is often known, soars to unbelievable heights regularly. I see the ball. I see the ball. Hurry, hurry. It's ahead of us. Number 7. Zidrunas Savitskas Super Strength. Half Thor Julius the Mountain Bjornsson is an undeniable physical force to be reckoned with. But if there's one strongman who bests him in terms of superhuman strength, it's Zidrunas Zavitskas. It's like that age old debate of who's strongest in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> The thing is absurdly strong and worthy of your respect, but when push comes to literal shove, the Hulk would most likely take the title. In 2014, Big Z won first place in the World's Strongest Man competition, beating the runner-up. You guessed it, Bjornsson by just a half a point. Big Z is the only man to ever win first place in every major recognized strongman competition. So Vickers goes a point and a half further into the lead. Number 6. Daniel Tammet, 
super genius. One, four, one, five, nine, two, six, five, three, five, eight, two, zero, nine, seven, four, nine, four. This Englishman possesses a brain like few others. He may not have telekinesis or other popular comic book based powers of the mind, but his abilities are undeniably superhuman. He is not only supremely intelligent, but arguably wired differently. He's considered to be one of the most gifted autistic savants of our time, describing numbers as having distinct shapes and feelings to them. But it's not only numbers that I see in colors. Words, too, for me, have colors and emotions and textures. Rather than just numerical value, thanks to his incredible brain, he can process complex mathematical equations mentally that few can even do on paper. <laughs> He's also a master linguist, a skill he proved beyond a doubt when he learned Icelandic to a conversational degree in one week's time. An accomplishment that, most would agree, is no mere human feat. A April 12th, yeah. uh, 1947. April 12th, 1947. Okay. okay, so you were born on a Saturday? And uh, do you know? I don't, I don't know. You don't know? Number five, Usain Bolt, super speed. I always try to get tall and get tall. When I get tall, I seem to go a little bit faster. There's likely no one faster, in water at least, than Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian in history, with his 23 gold medals and 28 total. But on land, in perhaps the oldest and most natural of athletic activities, running, Usain Bolt is the pinnacle of consistent human performance and is viewed as the fastest human ever timed. He uh, was so far ahead of the field that he actually crossed the line and he was laughing and joking with the Canadian Andre de Grasse. The Jamaican runner may have fewer medals, but that's a reality of the sport. There simply are fewer events to compete in. But he consistently outperforms the competition at every opportunity. So is it any wonder he's dubbed Lightning Bolt? There is no one on this planet or any other one that we know of that has ever run that fast. Number four, Jesse Graff. Super strength, agility, and endurance. I love working out hard. Warm up with some juggling and acro yoga, just really light really low impact, stretchy stuff. She may not be an Olympian, but Jessie Graff is the epitome of female fitness in her own right. As a stunt woman extraordinaire, her body screams superhero. The eye beam is taken out over a dozen top competitors. Lock those feet in on that notch. Great technique! Hard times, hard times Jessie Graff. She is not only athletic, but also an individual in possession of the sort of diverse skill sets that make a superhero super. She has to live up to the expectations of a real-life superhero, as she does stunt double work for Supergirl herself, Melissa Benoist, on the TV series. She's also done stunt work for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., X-Men First Class, Live Free or Die Hard, not to mention her qualifying round on American Ninja Warrior would have likely made the real Wonder Woman proud. Number three, Kevin Richardson, Animal Communication. Ah, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Doolittle may be a fictional character, but this South African is the real deal when it comes to animal whispering, at least as far as big cats are concerned. A widely respected animal behaviorist, the lion whisperer demonstrates unparalleled skill when it comes to understanding and interacting with the animals of Africa, lions in particular. It doesn't matter whether they were hand-raised lions or lions that are um, just simply raised in captivity. They can be extremely dangerous, and people need to respect that. While many experts prefer to study from afar, Richardson is unique in his extremely personal approach to handling animals. The lions in his sanctuary greet him much like a house cat would, with love and affection. While others may understand animals, Richardson seemingly connects with them on an individual level. They play rough, don't they? <laughs> no, they do. It's not for sissies playing with lions. Number two, Wim Hof, extreme stamina and thermoregulation. I think of the cold as a noble force. 
it's just helping me. If someone were to call you cold as ice, this song would likely come to mind. And you probably wouldn't take it as a compliment. You is cold as ice. But for this unbelievably resilient Dutchman, being cold as ice is part of everyday life and his claim to fame. Known as the Iceman, Wim Hof can withstand cold temperatures that would likely lead to hypothermia or death in the hardiest of average individuals. How? He regulates his body temperature, heart rate, and breathing by exercising control over typically involuntary bodily functions. The daredevil has performed full marathons in sub-zero weather in nothing but shorts and stayed in an ice bath for a chilling one hour and 52 minutes a Guinness World Record. Different way of breathing, which is able to make contact with the immune system and the nervous system to a very, to very deep level. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. He was a construction worker, and his tools started sticking to him. Artificial intelligence could be a real danger in the not-too-distant future. It could design improvements to itself, announced Murdasol. Number 1. Das Überboy. Super Strength. If we think about disease as a spectrum of abnormality, we usually think of it in the negative. Well, in this case, this is somebody who has abnormality in the positive direction. In 1999, German doctors were shocked when a mother gave birth to a child with the most defined muscles they had ever seen in an infant. Hello, family. <clears throat> he was described as reportedly having a physique similar to a bodybuilder. While Das Überboy isn't his official name, several sources listed him as such following a 2004 report in the New England Journal of Medicine. His parents requested that the child's identity be kept secret in order to allow him to grow up out of the public eye. Naturally, this secret identity only makes him all the more intriguing. We're not sure what the German equivalent of Smallville is, but here's hoping he's getting a moral human upbringing. Who knows how his strength has increased since birth? But this world could sure use a real-life Superman. And Das Überboy might just be our best candidate. Doesn't matter how you find the pot of gold, B to the Ryan. All that matters is that you beat the leprechauns. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to make sense when you look like this. Ugh. Do you agree with our list? Are there any other people currently living among us that you think might be superheroes? For more unbelievable but true top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Look at the smile on the flying squirrel, and especially when she saw the buzzer, she just did what no other woman has done.